Hi, my name is Mr. Coley, and I'm a math teacher in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'd like to show you a cool graph that I made using Desmos. All right, I have a circle here, and as soon as I hit play, it's going to start rolling along. Now I've highlighted one point in that circle, colored it in blue, and traced the path of that point on the circle as it rolls. And you can see you know, the curve lengthens as the circle rolls forward and shortens up as it rolls back. Now I want to show you the equations behind the scenes that make that path happen. Here they are. It's defined as a parametric function, x and y defined in terms of t. Now you'll notice cosines for x, sines for y makes sense. And inside I have a negative t because the circle is rotating clockwise, and I have a negative pi over 2 because the point starts down uh, tw facing towards the ground. I wanted to find the arc length of the curve, so I used my formula and got a length of 8. I also wanted to find the point when the, the time when the point was traveling the fastest and when it was traveling the slowest. Using calculus, I found the maximum speed at time t equals pi and the minimum speed at time t equals 0 and t equals 2 pi. Let me show you back on the graph where those two points are. All right, so the circle is rolling along. At time t equals pi, approximately, approximately there, the points at the top rolling in the same direction as the circle. It's traveling the fastest. At time t equals 2 pi, right about here, the point is traveling in the opposite direction of the circle, and it's traveling the slowest. So it makes sense. Um, if you'd like to check out the graph for yourself, please follow this link. Thanks for watching.